Quit being so fucking nosy. Hello, JDs and gentlemen. Welcome to the VW Nut Situation. If you know where that 23 window is, then you know where I am. It's the VW Nut. I am gonna make this is the beginning of making this look a lot prettier. So, going to bring you guys along. I'm going to do stuff here. Maybe my friend will show up and we can talk about the bus or whatever. Anyway, we will see you guys through the process. First thing I'm going to do, see what I got going on. That's where I'm going to start. See what I got going on. Hi. We're in the um, back cave. I'm going to try a spot right here. Like, I think it's probably going to be okay. We're going to find out right here and then maybe down low over here. Let me get her cleaned up a little bit. For you, for me, probably hmm, five minutes, maybe ten. We'll see. Got to get the supplies all laid out, right? Okay. Let's take a good look. Do you see? Is there a difference between that right there and that right there? And that right there. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going. I'm going straight after it right now. I'm going to go right there. Right there. And then we'll split the hood. See if there's a difference. Once again, you're slowing me down. I'll tell you at the end of how it all works. Or go watch some of my other videos of detail and other cool cars. I'm not going to get into it today. Sure, I'm using too much compound. I should have the buffer flatter. I should speed the buffer up. I should slow the buffer down. I should use this product. I should wipe it down with this product. I should do it this way. I got it. Let's just see what happens when Brian's done. See you in a second. Quit being so fucking nosy. Enough said. I seen the rag was there, but I purposely left it so you can see the reflection. I don't need to tell you what's done. It stops, obviously, somewhere. Hood. Light. I need to finish. The little bits right there and that little bits right there. Get some chrome right there. And then that whole stuff. But there's no roof, so what it doesn't have for roof, it makes up for in doors and running boards and huge fenders. It's a um, 1952 MG. And that is as much as I know about it. Correction. It is a 1953 MGTD. Mm-hmm. Okay. Back to work. The full meanness of the front end all kind of shiny stuff there's there's where all four of the por horsepower live seven or so i think it's like 55 i've been driving 50 horsepower for the longest time in the 1500s so. a beetle will blow it away though that's for sure nice it's, it's good to about 45 50 after that feels just like a kick car volkswagen version of an MG, pretty much they're exactly the same. The only difference is the price tag. I don't think there's all that much difference between them, really. Huh. Cool. You would think for yeah, ten grand, you yeah. would uh, have a Volkswagen one with this one. I don't know, but I noticed that there's like a an emblem focus. There's like an emblem or something. There's one over there when I was shining it on the turn signal yeah, right here. They light up. You want to see, don't you? Well, I mean, yeah. Well, yes, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're red. Look at that, huh? Holy shit, that's Shnazzy. cool. Hell, yeah. It has no directionals, though. You would think those would be directionals. I mean, it no. barely has any room. Like, <laughs> Yeah, right? Okay, 
That's all for you guys. Quit slowing me down. Quit slowing me down. Once again, you're slowing me down. Let us recap. This 1953 MG TD Cabriolet, whatever they called it, is very shiny now compared to what it was. I've done this side, working on the front of this side as far as just making the paint shine. I still have to put another coat of something on there to seal the paint. Some wax, some really nice wax, but I just have to right here. So I have, this is what it looked like when I started. Or you could go back and actually watch the beginning of the video. That guy, you can't tell him too many times to shh. He's just over there, it's okay. That's fine. You can't see those guys. You can just hear what they're doing. All right. Almost. There's that. Whoa. What's well, supposed to help it? I'm stuck in the use here. I'm trying to clean the truck. <laughs> There's is, your problem. Is it a leaf blower? <laughs> I should have ran a leaf blower first. Well, at least I got. Nobody wants to hear the music. Nobody okay. does. Well, well, I mean, what more can I say? You've seen all of the car and plenty of us. And um, what a joy it was to finesse, finesse this red car on spa day. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. My friend Musty One. We'll see you soon. And.